Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have yet another piercing video, which I know you guys really like. So this one is something that I wanted to personally make um, for myself and for you guys. So I wanted to make it so I know what to do in the future, so I remember, and something that may help you guys because it has helped me. So this video is going to be focused on how to help and um, heal piercing flare-ups, especially helix flare-ups. Um, what a flare-up is, is when a piercing out of nowhere, you know, nothing causes it really. Your piercing just kind of has a little bit of a flare up. And with helix piercings, that is probably the most common thing is helix, helix piercings are very, very pesky, pesky piercings. They take a very long time to heal. If you take very good care of them, sometimes they heal a little bit quicker. But no matter what, it's inevitable. You are going to have a flare up at least once in your relationship with your helix. So, I've had my helix pierced for around eight, almost nine months now. Out of that time, I've had a total of three flare-ups since having it done, and the last one that I have, which was, you know, a about a week ago, a couple weeks ago now. I think I tweeted about it. Um, so yeah, it was a while ago and that one was probably my worst one. Honestly, it hurt so bad I probably could have cried myself to sleep. And no, I have a very high pain tolerance and the flare up that I had was just so god awful. I didn't even know what to do with myself. It was just so bad. So um, pretty much when people get piercings and the piercing fully heals, that's usually when people think that they're in the clear as far as infections, blah, 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 migration rejection they always think they're in the clear for that and that is not true at all just because your piercing is healed that doesn't mean you could still run the risk of getting an infection it could still run the risk of rejecting migrating all the other stuff but you know just because it's healed doesn't mean nothing can happen to it because it definitely can um, sometimes especially with helix piercings if you sleep on it if you bump it if you get something in it that the you know the piercing doesn't like sometimes an infection or a little flare-up can occur I have never had an infection with any of my ear piercings at all mostly just really bad flare-ups so pretty much what a flare-up consists of is you know it gets and this this is how it went for me I started to feel a little bit of tenderness so I was like okay maybe I just you know slept on it wrong we'll see how it is in a couple hours and it didn't get better so it got more and more tender it got really really sore it started to swell up really really bad it got really, really red. Um, so my ear's a little bit red now because I was just playing with it before this video. Sorry. Um, it got really, really red and the piercing itself was just so swollen. Like the top of my ear was so swollen, like this part of my ear was out. Like it was so bad. It was just so bad. It hurt to touch it. Cleaning it hurt like hell. Um, I didn't really know what else to do so I was like, okay, um, I'll just, you know, take care of it like it's a new piercing. And usually when you get a flare-up, it's best to baby the piercing when it does have one of those. You don't want to just ignore it because, you know, it could get worse. So definitely if you think you're having a flare-up with one of your piercings, it's just baby it. Just baby it, baby it, baby it. Um, it's just, just really important to take really good care of it. So what I did is when I, when I got in the shower, I cleaned it with my Provon soap cleaned it really good. I cleaned, I, first I washed my hands, obviously. That's something you always want to do if you're having a little bit of an infection or irritation going on. You still want to make sure your hands are clean. So I washed my hands first, then I took a little bit of this on my finger, got it nice and sudsy, and then I just kind of rubbed in and around very, very gently because I was in a lot of pain. I tried to carefully move it so the soap could get inside and kind of clean the piercing, rinsed it off really good with hot water, um, dabbed it dry, you know, kind of let it air dry as much as possible. Luckily I have a side cut so no hair really gets in the way but you know if you have hair on your head on this side um, just try to keep it away from the piercing as much as possible. Just kind of let air get to it and then before bed what I would do is I would create a little sea salt you know solution is I would take a little bit of my sea salt which is by Instant Ocean. So I just took a little bit of this sea salt and I put it in here filled the rest of this little medicine cup with hot water as hot as I could stand it because that's the way I like to clean my piercings. I know that's weird. A lot of people say don't use hot hot water. I don't really care. That's just what I do. I'm just explaining to you what I did. So after I created the little solution, I took a bunch of Q-tips because when you're cleaning a piercing, you do not want to use the same Q-tip over and over again. So I grabbed a bunch of little Q-tips which just look, you know, like this, like a Q-tip. And then what I did is I got in there 
you know, I got it nice and wet. And then what I did is I cleaned kind of like going in like little circular motions around the top. Then I would switch sides, go to this clean side, you know, get it wet again. And then I would take my ear very carefully, kind of go like this and just go around. I do have a little bit of, um, in the, especially in the back, it is still a little bit tender, so I'm just trying to be really careful still while I'm doing this video. But pretty much what I did is I just cleaned the back of it really well as well. Then I would throw the Q-tip away. You definitely do not want to use the same Q-tip over and over. So after I did that, what I did is I created my sea salt paste. If you guys have followed me for a long time or if you've seen that video of mine, I kind of made up a little sea salt paste for keloids uh, on nose piercings. Um, pretty much what I did is I just took sea salt on a spoon, took some water, and I made like a little paste. And what I did is I took that paste and I applied it to the back of my piercing, which is where it hurt the most. So yeah, that's where I applied it and I left it on for maybe 20 minutes. I rinsed it off and then... This probably seems like a lot, I'm sorry, but this is what worked for me, so please I don't care who you are, don't comment and be like, you did too much, and I don't care because it helped and that's all that matters. So after I left the sea salt paste on there for a little bit, I rinsed it off with warm water, um, borderline hot water, and then what I did is I took some tea tree oil. Now, I used the tea tree oil on a cyst because I have developed another cyst right behind um, in this little area. So like right, right there. That's where the cyst is. And I took a little bit of tea tree oil on again, another clean Q-tip, and I just rubbed it around the cyst. I did not put it on the piercing. I just rubbed it on the cyst and then went to bed. And then I just repeated the process again in the morning. So that is everything that I did for my flare-up and it has really, really helped. I really, really, you know, liked what it did. It like cured it up like instantly the next morning. It wasn't as tender. It's still a little bit tender, but it's not bad now like I remember um, when it got really bad and you would look at me straight on like this ear would be normal and this ear would be like it was like out to here it was so swollen so I'm glad it's a little bit under control now I still have to baby it for a little while but I just thought I would share my little you know remedy for what I did for a flare-up because if you've ever had a helix piercing before you have one now you don't really know what I'm talking about sometimes the piercing just gets really angry and it just boom flares up gets red swollen icky painful oh it's just it's awful so yeah I wanted to share this to let you guys know what I did for this if you have any other questions regarding your helix piercing or whatever you can go ahead and leave a comment down below if this was helpful and you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it but until then I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!